girl. How y'all doing? Girl, I look a hot mess. Oh my God, y'all. This hair, this hair is still doing blown out phase and then she got all over the place. <coughs> Hold on. <coughs> How's y'all allergies doing? Baby, our allergies are, honestly, out of all three of us, all of us have different allergies. We've gone from sneezing, um, coughing every now and then. JV was coughing yesterday. Anyway, hey y'all, I'm back with a little vlog and it's Friday. It's Friday and I'm ready to swing. Girl, a lot has been going on, which is why I haven't done a vlog. I mean, a lot, y'all. A lot. Um, with me personally, I try to give myself a little room or wiggle room for changes. So a relocation, moving to another state, that's a huge change. And me personally, I think it could take up to six months to fully settle in. Really, I don't know what's going on with this camera, y'all. I'm on my new phone, girl. Oh, there we go. This is an iPhone 13. I hope the quality is okay. I think it looks a lot better than my old phone. Child, <sighs> Ms. Jackson was, I do too much at the same time. I'd be doing too much. I'd be putting so much stuff in my hand. As I was walking past, let me back up. I live with a bunch of men. They asses don't know how to put the toilet seat down. So as I was walking by the toilet, my phone slipped out of my hand and fell in the toilet. Now, since I'm very clean and I clean my toilet every week, I reached in there and grabbed it off. I cleaned it off and what the hell did I do? I sprayed it with a bunch of antibacterial spray because I'm thinking, oh my God, I got to get all the germs off. Girl, needless to say, I'm recording on, on the new phone. This is the old phone. You see all the water damage here and all there. I was really in my feelings a couple of days ago. Y'all yeah, know he started in this new, this new private school and I just... I get everyone is different, but I just want people to understand that when a child is starting something new <clears throat> and they've gone through multiple changes like JB had, has, it's going to take a while for him to get used to the process. So I emailed his teacher and was like, JB's having a hard time doing his homework, you know, um, I, I'm, I'm having him to do it, but it's taking a long time. And she responded back and she's like, that's actually not homework. We're having a hard time with him actually completing his work at school. And I'm like, what? And so I think I told y'all this before, but basically there's two teachers in this classroom, right? About 18 kids. And so she's saying that the one teacher assistant will sit with JB, go through the work. He seems like he understands. Then when that teacher get up, JB just sits there. And he's not doing his work. And so I, I explained to her, I said, I don't think it's necessary him not wanting to do the work. He's just, he's being distracted and he just can't focus enough to do it. So I met with a pediatrician. He does agree that JB does have some focus issues and it's just going to be a process. The only good thing I could say is that JB there's two there's two parts of it when you have ADHD. You can, you know, have the focus, attention issues, and then hyperactivity. Thank God my baby is not hyperactive. That would drive me off the wall. Now every now and then he will do the slow he'll he'll his hyperactivity is him walking around. He does his pacing back and forth sometimes when he's doing and that's just him. But some of these kids, child, uh-uh. And he's not bad at school, anything like that. It's just, you have to continue to redirect him. So it's just a process. Um, another thing that I felt a little bit, and I almost, I, ugh. as a parent, you always want to make sure if you're doing the right thing. And for a while there, I felt like, oh my God, maybe I shouldn't have homeschooled him. Or maybe I should have continued to homeschool him instead of putting him in that micro school. But there was no way, y'all. With us trying to move here, I just did not have the time to, I could not do it. So his teacher actually did agree that he's a type of child that would benefit from one-on-one. -on -one. I always knew that. I just don't have the time to do it. What What's the point? Um, he's going to have to repeat third grade. And that's unfortunate, but it makes sense because I only homeschooled him for 
first and second grade. Third grade, he's been in three different schools, technically, and he hasn't had hardly, this is the only school where he's had true curriculum and he's only been in there for three weeks. So the teacher agreed that, you know, repeating third grade is okay, but I was a little butthurt about it. I was thinking, I could catch him up. Vivian, no, you can't. I can't, especially now that I have two jobs, I can't catch him up. But what I will do is over the summer is continue the education so that he can stay on track for third grade. So yeah, that's going on with JB. Um, this weather girl in Texas, rainy, hot rain. I think the weather today is gonna be a high of 88, which means, you see my hair? <sighs> I'm a y'all look, I'm gonna give y'all a formal review or what do you call a review? A tour of the house. It's quiet, gotta be quiet. I'll give y'all a tour of the house and like give me a give me a minute. Give me like I guess I could do it next week. I don't know. So it's a little messy right now. Um JB did his little, make his little store thing. Again, I told him he can't do a lot, but it's, a, it's an abandoned store. Y'all, I let him do whatever. Um, This is our little wine area. This is where I put, I love that I have plenty of room. Look at this. All of it up there. I But I'm short, so this is, this is what I could, five, two. <laughs> I've been telling y'all I'm five, five, three and a half, but I'm really five. Y'all, this is what I'm wearing. My hair is already falling, girl. Girl, yes, tutorial's coming soon. The last time I wore this dress was for my 40th birthday, and I've I've lost weight since then. Yeah, girl, get look at that waist. Come through waist. And this is my red purse, platinum leather. Ain't she cute? I think I'm gonna take this off though. I'm gonna take this off. But yes, girl, get into this outfit. What's that in the background? Oh. Yes, keep her. No, sister, I lost her. Say hi, boo boo. <laughs> She's got some stickers. Hey, you guys. <laughs> Hot mess. Let me back out of this garage some. The weather is warm enough, but they ain't gonna last long. They ain't gonna last long here oh in Texas. Gosh. Because it's Texas and it's gonna cool down some and then it's gonna rain. I keep losing. Um, we had, so let me turn the car off. We had such a good time last night. Those y'all who live in the DFW area. You really had a good time. Those of y'all who live in the DFW area, you have got to check out the ranch out in, um, girl, what's going on with the hair? Out in Las Colinas. Absolutely love it. Um, we went there a couple of years ago, and I was like, oh, this is pretty good. And so that's our spot. So my husband and I, we always have like one or two restaurants that we keep on our roster, and the ranch is one of them. Now, one of the restaurants we used to go to, and I don't know where I'm looking at y'all, one of the restaurants we used to go to, Marin Fork, in Scottsdale, Arizona, they actually have a location in Austin. Tell me why next spring break, we're going to just plan a, a trip to the state capital in Austin, Texas. But the main reason is to go to that restaurant. What? Yeah. <laughs> That's the main reason. We're not driving. <laughs> <laughs> I'm over here choking. This child is laughing. So... We're not um, driving. We are driving, baby. Oh, y'all, I had a little cough. Cough. Our allergies are horrible. We think there's something, <laughs> JB Hush. We think there's something in the house that's messing up our allergies. So we will more than likely get the carpet replaced, boo boo. We're going to have to get that carpet. Again? We think it's the carpet. No, we, that carpet was never replaced. We had it clean. Our, he's getting confused. Our carpet in the old house in Phoenix was replaced, remember? I know. That, that's what I'm saying. Again? This carpet is not good. It's, it's, I think the carpet is messing up our allergies because after we had the carpet steamed, we were good for a while. And now, we're and this is the irony, we're good outside. 
so it has to be something in the house um we're gonna go why i am craving bagels yes but there is no Einstein, the closest Einstein bagel for us is 30 minutes away. <laughs> <sighs> I want to live in the country, Vivian. You want to live in the country. You want to live out here in the country. So, hey, 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 you guys. Look, you can see my hair now. You know what? I think I'm going to put like maybe like two or three rollers in my hair or something, girl, to try to maintain this. Um, Cause I have a lot of meetings coming up next week. It's Sunday, but I'm doing my planning for the next week. Um, I have a meeting every day next week, except for Thursday. Every day next week. Um, that's why I have a video scheduled for y'all. I have two videos, including this vlog, that I can schedule for y'all next week. And I have a hair-related video. But I don't have time to schedule anything in between that. Like, probably do a chit-chat and schedule. You know what? That's what I'll do. I'll do a chit-chat video next week. Make that public, make the vlog video public, and then move the hair video to the following week. See, that's what you gotta do, being on these YouTube streets. Um, and then I have a list of my upcoming vlog and just to do list, y'all. I, I try to be very organized like this. I have to be this way. Um, a bunch of household stuff I gotta get scheduled. I need to follow with my husband, make sure that he's y'all, our refrigerator, the breaker keeps tripping. And literally my husband has to go out to the um what do you call it? The breaker box and turn back on the refrigerator. Because I'd be damn if I wake up in the morning and all our food is ain't yeah, look, we grown, right? We grown. First of all, that food last night was so good. I'm I always get the same thing, baby. Um Chicken fried chicken, which I haven't even had chicken fried chicken since I've been here. You know, so I've been living here, so almost 15 years. Chicken fried chicken with green beans and mashed potatoes, baby. It hits the spot, and those drinks are on point. But he going to send me a text message. I'm asleep. Talking about, um, send me a picture of you. I'm like, who is this? <laughs> You don't get your ass in this bedroom. Tell me, send me a picture of you, girl. We are not, we are not twenty years old, but that's cute, girl. I guess that's his way of flirting. Send me. I'm like. <laughs> anyway, y'all. Um. <sighs> yeah, I got a lot. I got a lot of appointments we have to schedule. Um. I need to schedule, I already scheduled JB's pediatrician appointment. Yeah, I'm getting stuff off my to-do list, y'all. So I'm thinking, though, yeah, the P and Curls video ain't doing it. I think I will do um, the Blue Magic, the Eden Body Works. I found another uh, deep conditioner to you guys by oh God, Organic. Oh, oh God, I can't remember the name, y'all. Organics. That's like so many products I heard that I've never used before. But yeah, um, I do want to around probably in like two more months. I want to do twists on blown out hair, which I've done before. But these are gonna be really, really neat. Like I'm gonna take my time, separate the back, and conquer. Um, girl. Anyway, so yeah. Um, that was something else I need to schedule electrician. Alex, did you get that list? Did you get that list of electricians that I sent you? So, hey, y'all. I'm going to be making um, creamy chipotle pasta um, with salmon. Now, this is a dish that is found at the Cheesecake Factory. They have creamy chipotle chicken pasta. Um, and it's, it's okay. I've never had it there before. I'm very picky when it comes to the Cheesecake Factory. Uh, there's only a few dishes that I will eat there. But nonetheless, this is how I'm going to make it. I'm going to show you my ingredients. And then I'm not going to show every step because I'm doing a lot of different things. So we have parsley, butter, garlic, um, green peas, red and green bell peppers. We have jalapeno. That's optional. 
we have chipotle in adobo sauce we have heavy cream we have chicken bouillon we have pasta i'm using the corkscrew pasta mostly you will use penne pasta what you also will put in here is asparagus. I'm not a big fan of asparagus, so we're gonna be having green beans on the side. The honey is for the salmon. Hear me out. I know you're like, what? Hear me out. Since this is gonna be a spicy dish, and you can literally um, control the spice with the amount of chipotle sauce. We like spicy food. We're gonna be putting on quite a bit of chipotle sauce. I figured with a honey, butter, salmon, it will pair well with the spicy pasta and then with green beans on the side. As far as seasonings, y'all know I do my seasonings. I have, I'm not gonna use this since I have some on the side over here. We have the New Orleans Cajun seasoning, Italian seasonings, red pepper flakes, garlic powder, onion powder, black pepper, paprika, grilled cheese food decoration. We have salt. And that is it, olive oil. I have my pans and everything here ready to go. What are you gonna eat for dinner? Make up your mind.